Okay, the following is a summary of results from a study of 325 randomly selected traffic stops. So from this table, you can see the group of people that were wearing seatbelt and the ones that were not wearing seatbelt, and then it's broken down into the different age groups. So in this first example, let's say one person is randomly selected. Find the probability of selecting a driver that's age 16 to 25 who was not wearing a seatbelt. So I'm looking for the probability of getting someone 16 to 25 and not wearing a seatbelt. So I'm going to look at my table. First of all, I'll go to the people 16 to 25. So that's that first column. Now, of these people, the ones that were not wearing a seatbelt, 62 of them. So out of the total number of traffic stops, which is 325, out of all of them, there's only one group here that satisfies both requirements, which is 62 of them. So 62 out of the 325. So we're looking at about 0.191, or about a 19.1% probability. In this next one here, we want one person selected again. Find the probability of selecting a driver that's over 25. So looking at our table here, that's actually two columns. So the people that are over 25 are 26 to 40 and also over 40. So we're going to use all of the people in those last two columns. So the 94, the 22, over 26 to 40, the 32, and the 7. So all of those drivers are over 25, and this is out of everybody, which is 325. Okay, so 94 plus 22 plus 32, 7, is 155. So 155 of these are over 25. So dividing that out, we get about 0.477, or about 47.7% probability. Let's look at one more. Let's say one person is selected. Find the probability of selecting a driver that's age 26 to 40 or a driver wearing a seatbelt. So we're looking for someone who satisfies one or the other or both. So we're looking for someone 26 to 40 or wearing a seatbelt. So we're looking for someone that satisfies one or the other or both. So looking at our table, 26 to 40 are all of these people, so 94 and 22. So 94 and 22. And then we have people that were wearing a seatbelt, so that's all of the top people here. Now notice as I circled that the people that are 26 to 40 and wearing a seatbelt, if I do it this way, are going to be counted twice. Because if I do 108, 94, and 32, the 94 is being counted twice. So I don't want that. So I'm going to take out that overlap. So 94 is already in here. So I'm just going to add the 108 and 32. So I don't want to count 94 twice. So again, I don't want to count 94 twice. So 94 plus 22 plus 108 plus 32 is 256. So dividing that out, we get about 0.788. Uh, so about 